years ago. It was wonderful. It's a reminder of where we started. It's kind of timeless. It seems like everybody in the world has seen it. They're more than just a brain and a basket case and a princess and a criminal. They are the best friends that most of us never had. And I would say by 25 years in their family. Let's bring them up and say hi, shall we? John was really so connected to us throughout the whole process. He sat next to the lens or off. Or right underneath. Lens. Yeah. And, you know, he was, <laughs> he just stayed connected to the material and he really championed your efforts. Chicks cannot hold his mouth. <laughs> The truth of his message, which I think is it's incredibly important today. The notion that you have more in common with someone than you realize. You know, as we spin faster and faster into this toilet of a world, I think it's important that we, that we realize what we have in common with other people as opposed to what separates us from other people. I like improvising her noises, you know, the squeaks and the... Well, was that your dandruff? <laughs> I was sitting with this really young girl and she was talking about the movie was her generation. <laughs> she was so much younger than me and I said, it's not your generation, it's my generation. And that keeps happening where people keep thinking it was written just for them, you know, oh, like Catcher in the Rye felt, you know, when I read it for the first time. People scratch their head at me a lot because they're like... <laughs> <laughs> Emilio's dad. He was like, you! <laughs> Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you to Lincoln Center, to the wonderful cast of The Breakfast Club. We'll see you in another 25 years. Good night. <laughs>